This one's from Laura Reynolds. I'm seeing ads, I think she means listings, for reimagined covers of existing songs. Where is the line between a cover and a derivative work? Um, a cover is a cover. A cover is the same melody and the same lyric. But they're looking for reimagined covers, which means a song that used to be an up-tempo song, um, like an up-tempo, let's say Every Breath You Take uh, by The Police. We all know what that sounds like. Now let's say that you did a reimagined version of it where you slowed it way down and maybe bathed the reverb or the, the vocal track in reverb and did one of those ethereal, slow, I'm not going to sing it for you, but I can hear it in my head, uh, a slowed down version that's like haunting and ethereal. That's a reimagined cover. Um, conversely, you could take something that used to be a slow, pretty song and turn it into an edgy, pop rock song, um, something that previously was done maybe with, you know, lush strings and, you know, like a Barbra Streisand song and turn that into something that's a punk song. That's what a reimagined cover is. So you own that master recording. That's your recording. Their original recording was their original recording, but now You've got their song, their composition, but you're using your recording, your interpretation of it, but it's still their lyric and their melody. So you don't own any publishing on that. They still own the publishing. So if a library through Taxi, Production Music Library, which is a film TV publisher, signs it, what they're signing is the right to represent your master recording. Now, let's say you do a cover of Every Breath You Take, and that's gonna get used in a TV show. <clears throat> and uh, the TV show then uh, will have to license the composition from whoever controls the publishing on Every Breath You Take, and they will license your master recording from the production music library. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I feel a bit hesitant, uh, Laura goes on to say, I feel a bit hesitant to submit anything to these listings unless I know I am clear on copyright infringement. No, you're not infringing the copyright. Um, they still own it. Whoever is the owner of the copyright still owns it. Um, they still control it, but they don't own your master, and that's your moneymaker, is your master. So you don't have to worry about infringing any copyright. <clears throat> 